everyone. Um, I wanted to do this quick video for you guys because there seems to be a lot of confusion about Punnett squares. Um, so I'm going to just use my iPad to kind of uh, hopefully help you understand how to do Punnett squares and um, help you understand genetics a little bit more and how we predict outcomes of offspring by using these uh, traits. So we're going to start with a monohybrid cross first. So this is where we just have two parents and we just want to look at one trait. So we start with the parent generation, it's called the P generation. And we typically just use uh, letters to represent the genotype of the, the traits. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the letter R uh, because it's simpler. It has a distinct capital and lowercase letter. So the R trait um, will say that we'll look at eye color. Um, so we'll say capital R equals brown eyes and lowercase r equals blue eyes. And let's go ahead and just say we have um, a parent who is heterozygous for this trait and another parent who's heterozygous for this trait. Um, so typically what I like to do is I put the mom's um, genotype on top. You don't have to do that, but you can. And then I put the father's genotype um, on this side. So both of these parents have brown eyes because they have inherited the dominant trait. If you get a capital letter, then you have the dominant trait. So both parents, so parent one and uh, parent two have brown eyes. Okay, so when we go to perform this Punnett square, you just bring these letters down, okay? You always wanna list the capital letter first because that's the dominant trait. So we're gonna bring down this big R and then bring it down into the second box. And then we're gonna take the lowercase r and bring it down to the first box and then into the second box. And then you take this and just bring it across. So now we have that capital R going into that box and into that box. And then we have this lowercase r going into these two boxes. Okay, sometimes people end up writing a cross with the lower letter first or uh, the lowercase letter first and then the capital letter and that does not change the genotype you still they still have inherited a dominant trait so this is still going to be brown eyes because they inherited the dominant trait the only way that the offspring can have blue eyes is if they inherit two lowercase letters so if we go back to our Punnett square, and I'm sorry that this is messy. I just couldn't think of a better way to do it without um, doing it handwritten. Um, we have one box that has two capital R's. We have two boxes. I'm just going to go ahead and write the ratio. Um, two boxes with heterozygous, meaning that they're carriers. They carry the uh, recessive trait and then we have one box with the recessive trait so you have to look at these as probabilities okay so what this means is that there is a one in four chance that this couple will have a child um, that has this particular genotype there's a two in four chance that the couple will have a child that has the heterozygous, so they're carriers of that blue eye trait. And then there's a one in four chance that they could have a child who's recessive. Okay, so these are the genotypes that are possible. Now, as far as phenotype, there is no really difference between this one and this one, okay? If the child is capital R, capital R, or capital R, lowercase r, they're gonna have brown eyes. So that's three boxes out of four 
that have that dominant trait. So they have a 75% chance of having a child with brown eyes. Then they have a one in four chance of having a child with blue eyes. Okay, so that's how you do monohybrid crosses. Now, this generation that you produce, so this little ratio right here, here, I'm gonna write it over here. Uh, you know, one capital R, two, 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 one. That's the F1 generation, okay? So the offspring is the is the F1 generation. Now, if you were to cross um, this generation with, let's say, let's say this child, we take this child, and they get, uh, they have another child with with a, a person, and they that person is lowercase r, lowercase r, and then you perform that Punnett square. Um, that's going to be the F2 generation. So it just kind of goes parent generation, F1 generation is the children, and then when those children have children, that's the F2 generation. And when those children have children, that's the F3 generation. So it's just kind of looking at parents and offspring and, and so forth. And once again, I'm really sorry that this is messy. Um, hopefully it makes sense to you. Um, if not, just email me and I will help you out with this. Okay. All right. Coming up next will be dihybrid crosses.